rounding does get a little tricky when the number 9 is involved because sometimes you round up a 9 and you end up changing the number in the next larger place. We'll see that happen in some of these examples. In this row, we're told to round these numbers to the nearest 100. So this first example is pretty straightforward. 2,921, we find the hundreds place. That's a 9. We look at the next number. That number is less than 5, so we round down. The answer is 2,900. In this next example, though, we find the hundreds place. We want to round to the nearest 100, so we find that spot. We look at the next digit. That's a 7, so we round up. So instead of 9 right there, we have to think of this as 29, and we round that up to 30, 300, or 3,000. 2973 is closer to 3,000 or 30 hundreds than it is to 2,900. So we round it up to the 30 hundreds or 3,000. Here, 43,984. We're told to round this to the nearest hundreds, so we find the hundreds place. That's the 9 right there. The next place is an 8. We look at that to see which way we round. That's 5 or higher, so we round up. So instead of 43,984, we end up rounding up to the next highest 100, which turns out is an even 1,000, 44,000. You can think of this as 440 hundreds. Instead of rounding down to 439 hundreds, we round up to 440 hundreds, which is 44,000. Here, 29,978. We want to round to the nearest hundred. That's the nine there, the second nine. So we look at the next place, which is a seven. That's higher than five, or five or higher, so we round up. So instead of 29,000, 978, we end up rounding this to 30,000. 30,000 is the nearest 100. The nearest 100 in this case also happens to be an even 1,000 and an even 10,000. And that's okay. Instead of rounding down to 29,900, we round up to the next 100, which is 30,000. Now down in this last row of examples here, round to the nearest 10. 497 rounded to the nearest 10. We look at the tens place. The next digit is 5 or higher, so we round up. The answer is 500. Here, 2398, 2398, we look at the tens place. The next digit is an 8, so we round up. So instead of 2,398 to the nearest 10, it ends up being 2,400. The next highest 10 ended up also being an even 100. Here, 192, rounding to the nearest 10, just comes out to 190. The 2 was my next digit. It's less than 5, so I round down. In this case, though, 198, I'm rounding to the nearest 10. My next digit is 5 or more, so I round up. So instead of 190, it's 200. And again, the next highest 10 ends up also being a perfect 100, and that's okay. 198 rounded to the nearest 10 is 200.